Hey, good morning, Sally. All right, this morning we're out cutting lavender. This beautiful blue, um, short English lavender. It's actually called Laudan Blue. And this lavender's been here at Ravencroft for the last 25 years. So we've got a, a nice stand of the lavender. And we're, the sky is pushing on us. There's a little mist starting to come. And we want to get the lavender because if you come in close here, you can actually see well, here we'll pick one and show you. You can see the florets on the lavender are now opening. And in fact, these dark uh, gray parts have already opened and closed. The scent of the lavender is not actually held in the floret. It is held in the calyx. So when we get the flowers at about 25% opening, it's a really good time to capture the most of the volatile oil in whatever preparation we're gonna make with the lavender. So how do we harvest lavender? You can see that there's a, a tall spike that comes up. These are English lavenders, the Lavendula angustifolia, and they're a short lavender. It's a much smaller, more compact lavender. And so we're coming in and just harvesting back to the main um, body of the plant just down at the end of the stems and that's the best way to get the most um, of your harvest and to leave behind a good sturdy plant for next year's harvest. There will be a little bit of flowering after this but not much. So now what do we do with it after we harvest it? Well, these are really nice short bundles and they could be actually bunched. It's a fairly dry herb. We don't have to worry about too much moisture in the herb so you can bunch it in a, in a nice size bunch. And so a little bunch like this hanging is a great way to dry the lavender. We're actually gonna make lavender oil and lavender tincture and dried lavender from this plant. So. We've been harvesting these same plants for the last 25 years, 20, 25 years. And so it has a long life. Lavender is what's called a long lived perennial. There are perennials that actually live um, maybe two or three years. That's a short lived perennial. But the lavenders, as you see, have big, have grown beautifully for the last 25 years and I'm gonna say 20 25 years like that so anyway you can also see there's a little bit of clover coming up through this one it's not too much and we have put burlap sacks around the base of the plant to push back on the on the grasses and the clovers but this one made it through and and she's blooming beautifully so there's no problem there so I Glad you came out today for the lavender harvest. We look forward to seeing you over at eaglesong-gardener.com. And there you can subscribe to our mailing list. Um, we have a newsletter that goes out, Walking Seeds, because everybody who carries this idea of herbalism, this idea that plants are, or herbs are people's medicine, become walking seeds. And we populate a planet with love for the earth. So come see us, eaglesong-gardener.com, and hope your harvest of lavender is great this year. See you there.